what is up my name is serial man and today I'm gonna show you how to make a automatic pumpkin farm now as you can see there are two methods and one method is the foolproof method it always works I'm gonna place a pumpkin this is gonna destroy it. what <laughs> what the business is gonna destroy it and it's gonna go straight into the chest there is now six let's show you again there you go making me look bad on my own channel all right good and then the second one is also it's a demonstration that you can make it longer and that it does work now it just happened let's check if there is a pumpkin yes there it is now same thing it's gonna go pumpkin. it's gonna be destroyed it's not going to do that <laughs> i'm kidding it's gonna do that sometime and then the pump is gonna fall into the water go into the hopper into the chest now this is if you are not if you're not keen on mining for iron to make your hoppers, you are making an automatic farm, obviously you are a lazy person. Now, what you are going to need for this, you are going to need some sand, you're going to need a fair furnace, easy to make, and then the hardest things to get is the redstone, the comparator, and the redstone repeater. The repeater is so you can extend the amount of pistons you have, and the comparator is to repeat the bud switch yeah that's right that's what it's called it's called a bud switch now let's get straight up into it first we're gonna use dirt because dirt is the easiest to find you can obviously use any material while you are here I'm gonna use dirt it's very easy you can change it a little bit make it more cosmetic later on the pack I'm using is Java uh, you can go check your resource packs Google Java install that resource pack man is the mouse when it comes to resource packs anyway so first off we're gonna start here with a small one so I can show you easy peasy step number one build yourself a path where you are going to enter the future in yes that's right now I always make sure that my water is solid everywhere meaning it doesn't stream to some place because I do not like the sound it's obvious which one of the two I'm gonna choose <laughs> all right so let's start off by placing a piston facing up there you go and on that piston you are gonna place some sand I'm gonna need that later I'm gonna place some sand and then next to this piston it's gonna face towards you alright you see that and then another one towards you and then two up again up Set up. Boom. All right. And then two facing you again. All right. Now this is the magic number. It goes. It goes. Two facing you. Two facing up. Two facing you. The reason we're using pistons is so we can extend the bud switch. If you have no idea what I just said, just nod your head and say thank you, Cyril man. Thank you for making me confused. You twat. You twit. You <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> anyway, so now we're gonna place a furnace here, and then in said furnace, we are gonna put anything that can stack up to 64, and then we're gonna put some dirt because we have dirt. There are loads. Alright, and then we're gonna put some doit here. And now, this is the most important part when you are placing your comparator, you are gonna put it facing away from the sand okay so how to do this you climb up here oh all right you don't need to press the button it's not gonna it's not yeah it's not necessary all right so make sure it's off then you see it's lit that because there's something in here Woo! i said lit anyway so now step number something <laughs> place another block the comparator is going into the block and then Make a diagonal block line above your pistons. Diagonal, for those of you who don't know, mean here. Your piston is here. Ah, <laughs> damn it! What are you doing? Your piston is here. Diagonal means there's gonna be nothing here. All right, that doesn't necessarily uh, mean anything, but you want your redstone to run diagonally from distance let's check it out I need a repeater there you go redstone repeater 
And then we're gonna place it. Now your comparator is facing this way and your redstone repeater is gonna face this way. That's because it's gonna need to take the energy that way. Now let's get some redstone dust up in this joint. Man, I really do not enjoy that. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Now you see, it's a very weak signal, but it is a signal nonetheless. You can't put anything else there because it will make the pistons go crazy. If you put a redstone block here, it won't work. So just use a furnace, just trust me, it's easy. Alright, so now what's gonna happen is every time you place something here on these blocks, the pistons are gonna freak out. And the cool thing is if you place something here, it's not gonna freak out. So that should give it away. You're gonna put your pumpkin seeds right here. Uh, let's get some bone meal. suckers going you don't need to but seeing as you are building an automatic farm I assume that you have played your game for a while if you haven't I uh, kill some skeletons man get that sword up and kill some skeletons get that boat wheel going if you don't well that happens all right so now what's gonna happen is the pumpkin is gonna grow here and then it's gonna fall so you want that falling pumpkin to go somewhere so we're gonna get a hopper and we're gonna put the hoppers all right first things first let's place a chest all right we're gonna put our little chesty boy here so the pumpkin doesn't grow on the chest that doesn't happen luckily and we're gonna put some hoppers facing into the chest now to do that you need to press control all right you see my man going down and then you press into the chest Woo! and then you place hoppers all the way around here all right that one's not necessary that one is necessary all right now when the pumpkin grows it's gonna hop it into the hopper into the chest yay it's working Alright, so you have just finished up building your automatic farm. Now you will see that this one does not work all that well. It takes a very long time. So what you're gonna do want to do now is you're gonna want to extend your bud switch. The way to do that is very simple. Remember the magic keywords. <laughs> it's two, two facing you, two up, two facing you, two up. So I'm gonna put this one facing make this one up 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 facing up facing there you go all right then we need to make sure we hydrate underneath our pistons Close up so the water doesn't come out get some more water no <laughs> No, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I think I'm not even gonna edit that out. I need you guys to see how bad I am at this game. Anyway, so now we're gonna close it up. We see that here. There you go. All right, call me, call me, call me hydrated. Now, place your pumpkins where the pistons are facing up. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Let's bone wheel those boys up so we don't have to wait. This is a YouTube video. And then we place hoppers here again. Now, again, this is very hopper hungry. I did that wrong. It needs to face into the other hopper, okay? Make sure you don't put it here because then it faces into the wall and you're giving pumpkin to that. Uh, block for some reason, I don't know why. Anyway, boom. There you go. Alright, so now when a pumpkin grows, it's not gonna work. <laughs> you need to extend your bud switch. Now, remember, if you want to extend your switch, you need to place it diagonally from your pistons and then just extend it with redstone. Alright, the redstone makes it all the way to here. You can extend it all the way until the redstone fails. And if it does fail, you can just place another repeater. So 
let's say it goes all the way here and the redstone fails right about there then you can just place a repeater I'm very lazy place a repeater here and it'll continue on so you can make this farm for as long as you like but just remember if you are going to go away from this farm it's gonna stop working so you need to be close to it so it works did we hydrate yes we hydrated why did you do that you idiot. <laughs> i'm just gonna leave that right there so you guys can enjoy the the humor in my videos not that there is any all right so having said that let's continue up with the cosmetics now if you want to make it look pretty you can close it up here and you can use anything you don't have to use dirt or grass like I'm doing you can use quartz there you go that's gonna look nice I see everybody may uses quartz to make their stuff look nice very nice all right that's pretty all right you can even use quartz here what that just happened all right now if you are poor <laughs> meaning you cannot afford all these hoppers the secret is eight you are going to destroy this chest you are not going to place anything there you're gonna close it up destroy all these hoppers right you are gonna make sure that you count eight close it up here now the reason I'm saying 8 is because that is how far water goes. Boom. Okay, the water goes all the way up to here. Let's see what happens here. Where do they meet? Here. Alright, so I'm going to place two hoppers facing into a chest. Like this one. Alright. Remember to first place your chest. And then your hopper. Let's test it. If the pumpkin grows, it's gonna fall into the water, and then it's gonna stay. <laughs> it's gonna stay there. All right. So when that happens, don't panic. It's all okay. Just move your stuff one up. All right. So place your chest here. There you go. Yes, yes. This is working perfectly. And what? Don't do that. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Alright. There you go. There you go. Pumpkin in the chest. Alright, so this is the automatic pod switch. Now, props to the sugar farms. Daras. That's where I got the idea for the pod switch. And I also... I used to see this video on YouTube a lot. I don't know why they took it off. I've, I was looking for it for, you know, like an automatic pumpkin farm. Uh, this is what I got. This is a lot. This is a waste of a lot of materials. You are wasting practically two two pistons every time. You <laughs> you are wasting two pistons every time you extend your pumpkin farm. So it's easy to obtain. That will happen if that does happen. Just close it up, and it won't happen again. <laughs> now some uh, pro tips for you guys light makes pumpkins grow quicker so if you want to you can put light sources let's use the jack-o-lantern since we all the, the whole video is pumpkin based jack-o-lantern there there that light will make your pumpkins grow much quicker this wall will make the pumpkin stay inside it is recommended that you use glass um, I'm not going to do that now you can put some glass right here and it'll look nice and pretty for you all right anything else I don't think so if you want to close it up here you can put some slabs and then you can just deal 
up in your chest. If you want to put glass, you can put your glass right here. The glass will cause the pumpkins not to get lost. There you go. Into the chest. Yay! <laughs> I just happened to a jack o' lantern. There you go. It's not flawless, but it will most definitely work, so you can leave it like that. Now, if you want to make a melon farm, yay! Just plant melon seeds. I'm going to regret this. No! No! <laughs> I've, I have to promise you that I am, I am, I am very new to this game, I'm not even playing it for you. Uh, it's just not my day today. Alright, so. Wow. Okay. Cringy. Yeah. Alright, so this is what happens when a piston is missing. So that does happen sometimes, don't worry, the bud switch will reset itself. That is why we have more than one. Let's try to, let's try to confuse them. Hey. 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 Alright, there you go. Let's see if the pumpkin seed... Nope, it ignores it there, you see? It ignores it. Alright, I think I've played around enough now. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, you don't need to subscribe or like. I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, everyone enjoys that. Um, you and all nine my other subscribers would be very happy. <laughs> all right, enjoy your night.